I have a confession. Did you put those holes in those bags? Costly, they can hear your tail beating up against the post. Oh my gosh. But yeah, all of this for less than 30 bucks can trip death. And it's, it's living. I'm excited. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to Living on a Prayer Flower Farm. I'm Jessie and I'm glad to have you here because we've got some projects that we gotta do. And y'all, those of you who have been following me know I have been through some burn out. Like almost a whole year of not flower farming from you know the joy of it. Not doing anything with flowers and oh, I got myself into some trouble yesterday. Big trouble. So uh, I'll let you watch that, that clip while I enjoy my coffee and the guilt that I feel right now. Actually, you know what? Not guilty. Just enjoy the clip. I have a confession. I said I was not going to buy any plants until after I figured out how we were going to do this, this area. Right here. Not about any plants except for perennials and whatever's going here, right? That's all I'm going to do. Hey, honey. You should come see the back of my car. And then uh, I went shopping at several nurseries, which I shouldn't have done. I resisted all but one. One got me. O'Neill's got me. And uh, I got some stuff. Mulch. <laughs> yeah, you did. Should have brought the truck. All that for 30 bucks. Less than 30 bucks, actually. Well, how many bags? Nine bags and then two in ground soil in ground soil yeah in ground soil amendment with fertilizer to kind of mix with the clay for the plants um, to go in but yeah all of this for less than 30 bucks because they were busted you see the holes they can't they can't see it oh, oh, <laughs> turn it i'm they getting my reaction right now yeah you have to leave it in. holes holes lots of holes all but two have holes so i have 50 percent discount so, I also got three of these and three of these, which are Superbina Pink Cashmere. So, they're going to look really good around my trees. Laura with Garden Answer got me, guys. Okay, honestly, just watching her old videos and seeing her petunias and stuff was like, I got to do it. I also got something for the porch that I'll show you in a minute. But, yeah, couldn't resist. What you doing? <laughs> I am creating an edge for my prompt to I bought annuals and didn't think well about how I actually needed to do the process. So what are you doing right now? What's what's happening here? I'm creating a nice hard edge to put mulch into. So I've removed all the grass for the most part. But now I'm cutting into the soil for bed. And I'm actually Look at this dirt. It's not red. It's not red clay. That surprises me. That's probably what six ish inches below the surface. Yes. That's rare for for us in North Louisiana. It's like you if, get two to four inches and then iron ore. If you walk over, I mean, from here you can see the forsythia. That's what I expected. Yeah, the iron ore. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Fifty percent off, baby. So tell me, Jesse, uh -huh. did you put those holes in those bags? I did not, actually. <laughs> I told Kristen, who was with me, I was like, if I was dishonest, I would totally put holes in all these bags. <laughs> but I was honest, and what's crazy is when I got to the checkout, I expected to have to, like, unload and prove the holes. The guy was like, how many had holes? Seven. So two were whole? Yeah. Okay. It's like, oh. Well, dang it, I could have lied and said they all had holes. No, 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 no. But I, I'm a good citizen. I don't We're, want to ruin it for everybody. You're not a farmer. I you're am. not a flower farmer. Explain here the wall. What's happening? So we're putting in the mulch up to the wall, but just below it. And the idea is it's going to help cut back on the grass growing into the mulch. And it's going to be easier to mow. So you want it just kind of slightly below it. I think probably this will be the best. And we'll see how well it does. We'll still have grass seed that grows in here. But the idea is to weed less. 
and to have a nice hard lawn without more plastic in my yard and in the ground. This die, and if I don't let the vista die, it'll cover all of this. I will water every day. I solemnly swear, Casey, I will water every day, okay? What face <laughs> am I making right now? <laughs> the one of doubt. <laughs> also bought one other plant yesterday while at O'Neill's and that is a Superbina focus yeah Superbina Royale plum wine look at that this picture's not doing it justice so I figured it would take over this hanging basket and look gorgeous hanging down and stuff I'm very hopeful this year these plants have made it a whole month or more on this porch. This is the porch of death and it's, it's living. I'm excited. I'm excited to have living plants and to see how it goes. And I think the whole fact that I'm not trying to grow seedlings and get the farm ready really helps with the whole wake up in the morning, water your plants, Jesse. Water your plants. King of water. I'm going to water these annuals real quick before I start shoveling more dirt. I think he was in that clip I just showed y'all as well of yesterday's events. I was like, Casey, I promise, I promise I will water these plants every day. Every day I will water these annuals. All right. Let me go get a wheelbarrow, wheelbarrow, and we shall start on tree number two of removing grass and dirt. <laughs> All right, day two, tree two. I'm hoping to do the last two trees today. We'll see. These are not perfect circles. I'd have to take out the T post and be able to do like a string and it just, It'll be all right. I'm not that concerned about it. I can always make these circles look way better later, right? Yeah. Hey guys, real quick, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to hit that like button. It helps YouTube promote to others. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you get more of my content. Thanks. So the moat is filled. It took me a whole 30 minutes ish to do that's not bad a lot of this ended up being more topsoil and clay which is very surprising and uh now it's time for a water break let's go to the farmer's market maybe get some good food or mulch <laughs> and then we'll finish this up this afternoon i had to cool down uh i apologize to Kristen yesterday when we went and saw her like if i smell i apologize i didn't have time for a shower guess what homegirl's gonna smell again but that's okay I'm a smelly farmer, but I'm an honest farmer. Hey, panel crew. I just want to take a minute to say thank you to those of you who made this video possible. The whole project cost me about $150 for the annuals in the mulch, and I couldn't do it without you. So I want to say a huge shout out to those of you who donate on buymecoffee.com. So thank you, Colorado Tulips. Thank you, Kim Matlock. Lisa in Connecticut, Ramilla, and Sherry Glasser. Also, huge shout to Sarah Ford, who joined our channel membership as a pedal bestie. Thank you, Sarah. So excited to have you on board and looking forward to doing member-only lives with you and having videos just for our members. So thank you guys again for liking, commenting, joining buymecoffee.com or the channel membership. And let's get back into the video. Do you want to yeah. be on camera? I'm recording yeah, my episode. <laughs> Say hi, Denise. Hi. <laughs> you got some beautiful flowers. Thank you. So I'm gonna. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. Salted caramel bubba. 
Mm. So good. If Chris and I are hanging out, when we finally do get to hang out, we always get boba at Peach City and Russell and get boba fresh. Headed to the food parks. If you live in Ruston and you haven't been to the food park, you're missing out. Hey, can I please get an order of your pork stir fried noodles? Yes, ma'am. And an order of dumplings? Yes, ma'am. Do you like spicy or not spicy? non-spicy i like the spicy but i can't handle it <laughs> <laughs> i understand <laughs> but your dumplings i had them yesterday and they were just so good I, it's like we have to go back <laughs> yes ma'am <laughs> thank y'all <laughs> and then her dumplings does are to die for <laughs> It's so good. Back to work now. I had a lot of fun in town though. And I got recognized a second time at the grocery store that I had to run into to buy stuff to make deviled eggs for this Sunday. For tomorrow for Easter. But, uh, thank y'all. Thank y'all. If you see me in public, feel free to run up and say hi to me because it does. It makes my day. It makes me really happy. Because I don't think that many people in Ruston, you know, know me know my channel most of you don't live in Reston so it's always nice when I get someone who's like hey Jesse or let me out a prayer flower for a woman I'm like yes <laughs> made my day so hat on I have sunscreened up so I don't turn into a red lobster let's get to removing grass and trying to get this project done time for a water break it's up to the 80s today which means definitely take time to rest take lots of water break and then we'll get out here and we'll start on the last tree i just want to make sure i've got all the mulch i need and stuff and i probably won't plant these annuals into the ground until this evening just to give them a good night to uh, soak before the afternoon sun beats down on them you know so let's get some water and then we'll come back out all right it's facing me what do i look like since you don't want to be on video just say it. A red smurf. Oh my gosh. I kind of do, don't I? My face is so red. I put on sunscreen, y'all. I kind of look like Violet from Willy Wonka, the chocolate factory, when she's turning into a blueberry. Is my face so red? And my ears. I put on a hat. Let's see what we look like tonight. Ooh. Finally, done with digging the moat and removing the grass from all three trees. Two of the trees are almost completely mulched, so it's got the last tree. <sighs> I had to go inside though, y'all, and just, I had to take a break. I was too hot. But I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna back up my car to this last tree for the mulch. Because I ain't carrying the bags all the way over there. And then, it looks like it kind of wants to rain, but it don't need to rain. So that we can uh, have all this dirt that I had to dig up and dry out so we can remove it and it can look better. Cause now it just looks gross. We have finally arrived at putting the plants in. So I've got the Super Bina Pink Cashmere. I'm gonna put these in each front of each of the tree. I've got three of these. And then we've got the Wave Petunias, which Proven Winners did have petunias as well that were like a Super Bina. But they didn't have yellow and they were way more expensive. So we're going with the cheaper route. I'm gonna do about eight of these around each tree and maybe it'll fill out this summer. I don't know, but it'll be pretty. <sighs> Let's get to it.
I'll take my time, dear, just to keep you around here. Know what they say, you can't keep the clouds away. All three trees have now been mulched and have beautiful annuals that will hopefully be left alone by the deer. Now that they have plenty of stuff to munch on. And I know they're not perennials, okay? <laughs> My husband's like, Jesse, why didn't you get perennials? I didn't buy perennials because perennials need a permanent home and we're still sketching and planning what we want out here and what we want in the front. And that's gonna take planning. So I wanted something that had color. I felt good. I wanted something that would make me happy now. And uh, I thought now I needed annuals. So I'm happy, it made me happy. I'll get perennials eventually, but first I'd really like to plan out and prep before I buy anything permanent to put in this landscape. But uh, I, think this, I think this is a nice touch. And eventually this will all become one bed. So I don't see any harm in throwing in some annuals this year and I promise I'll water them. I'll keep you updated. Keep me accountable. Before you go, I've got a great video on me transplanting hundreds of seedlings out of the farm before the farm was complete chaos. So be sure to click that video here and I'll see you there. Bye. Costly, they can hear your tail beating up against the